Benches. I'm Nayoka. <laughs> and I'm Brittany. And as you can see in the title, today we're going to be talking about the Bounty and Beanie Clash. Yeah. I feel like it's due diligence that we give um, our opinions on the video and some highlights. And we're also going to give you some information on the back history of Jamaica dancehall culture. Yeah. I've always wanted to, be, yes, to do this real. video. Because um, I feel like not many people actually understand or know where dancehall is coming from. Yeah. So. And I feel like this was a very historical moment. They represented very. us very well. So we're gonna give you guys some information because you know I like giving you guys information. <laughs> so I'll be giving you guys some information about Jamaican dancehall culture and we'll be reviewing the live also. So mm -hmm. yeah, so let's jump right into it. All right guys, so you know that the live took place on Instagram um, last night on um, Versus, Versus page. Um, they are a social media platform that combines like the past and present of hip hop. Um, they bring it to like an online vibe. Yeah. Versus was actually created by Timbaland and Swiss Beats, Swiss Beats and they were sponsored by Sarah. Um, so it's kind of like a quarantine radio kind of thing, and you know, with the whole COVID nineteen, a lot of festivals and shows have been cancelled. So. I'm really happy that this kind of platform was created and also that they requested two of our veterans in the dance hall culture to actually do a clash. Yeah, so, that was a yeah, it was moment really that honorable, wanted. yeah, and a history in the making too. So, so, so. thank you guys for recognizing dance hall mm -hmm. on your platform because it was really, it yeah. was really, really helpful yeah. to our culture. Everything about that live, I feel like it did represent dancehall really well. Really, really well. well. So dancehall, dancehall really started in the ghetto of Jamaica. So that would be the lower income communities um, that weren't able to uh, attend certain functions and events. And they created, they used a community zone. So somebody would have a community zone and everybody in the community would gather and entertain themselves right. with this one zone. And they usually would have, um, Records right. from international records, records. Yeah. where the whole community will listen to the songs and vibe to it And that's how dance all really started. So pretty much the records had two sides to it You'd have an A side and a B side and on the A side you would have the full track and on the B side You'll only have the rhythm of the song. So what they did being Jamaicans mm -hmm. and being creative you know, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> We'll have to create something else or anything. Right. Anything we put our hands on we'll have to create it um, be creative with it. So what they did was that they had the rhythm playing only and somebody got the mic and they started to DJ and sing on the on the on just the track side of the on record. the track side of the record. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So that's how the DJing on a on a track and you guys probably hear in dance hall that we have one rhythm that multiple people would sing on and compete who have have the best, best song, song on yeah. that rhythm. <laughs> so that's how it really started and that's crazy like to know that they just use something so simplistic and created something it's so whole, a whole genre of music. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it would look something like this. Yeah. All right. So pretty much that's how dance hall really started, and to me, that's mind blowing and. That's why I appreciate dancehall culture so much because our people are really, really excellent at being creative. creative. And yeah. dancehall is not only about the song, the song that's how it started, mm -hmm. but it's really about the community and there's different aspects of the culture that is incorporated in the dancehall scene. Mm -hmm. um, the, first part, the, the first part of the live that I must mention, <laughs> this part of the live, part that really really grabbed my attention like they actually started with the national anthem like yes bro oh my gosh I like felt a lot. so goosebumps yeah the honor that they actually started the clash mm -hmm. with our national anthem yeah on it a just... serious note like you know mm -hmm. like honestly I never expect my heart to smile so much yeah on this live like you know we just go for watch a, a clash Mm -hmm. Two big icons in dance hall that clash. You never expect to feel so proud and yeah. like a taste of home kind of thing. Yeah. So it was real. It was a treat for me, definitely. Get together. Let's bring it up, you know? 
yeah so another big part of the live that i really want to highlight was the dressing yeah. right so as you guys see our two big artists come through and they're clean clean from mm -hmm. head to toe i think um beauty man was in gucci mm -hmm. he was in um a silver suit and bombsicle was in a gold and black um fendi suit. yes so you don't know them well groomed every everybody put together clean from head to toe shoes them chain that's the next big thing to yeah. the jewelry for the men <clears throat> for the women your style, your style, your style, yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, whatever you have on have to be trending, have to look good. Um, and if he's a real art girl, you need all your nails <laughs> do <though>, like <laughs> so. We take we actually take the dance, the dance hall space really mm -hmm. serious. And as I said, about the dressmaker, like people usually actually create a design and actually, right. yeah, and actually draw it out and get the dressmaker mm -hmm. to make that so design make so you can stand out, right? And I think the standing out part is. A part of the dance hall because they are different themselves, yes, and to be seen like that. Everybody was being creative, even in the way how we dress. Mm -hmm. And even when we're not in the dance hall space, Jamaican sense to dress yeah. up all the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Bonte and Beanie definitely come out in a damn nice suit, yes. and it was just alive, yeah. but it was definitely dance hall, like. Yes. <laughs> That was definitely a dance hall thing mm -hmm. to do. All right, guys. So um, the next part of the live that I did notice um, was how they transition the music from old school to new school. And you guys know chairs and benches. We like to give you guys information for the content. I know I have a large um, variation of audience, and I always being in Canada, a lot of people don't understand a lot of things, and I feel like we have to become clear with like given information about our culture so people can truly understand it. So the old school to new school transition is definitely how the dance hall space usually play music. Yeah. So like once you go to a party or dance, that is how the dance starts off. Yes. He starts like from a, from a, from what start through. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> what we know parties to do. You know what we are waiting for everybody to come, come in, in and then so the dance they kind of build like, up. They don't play yeah. music randomly. We still appreciate all the music because you know music change yeah. and it transition in time. So we we still want to appreciate the hits from old schools cool. and bring it all right. the way forward to new mm -hmm. schools. So they did that in the in the class. So they did start with the old school and they also, if you guys notice. That they did bring a lot of songs that fuse with hip hop, and yeah. as I said previous, mm -hmm. the hip hop um, tracks that we had when they had that um, community song, Fun, yeah, hip hop really influenced dancehall, and dancehall had a huge, huge influence, influence on hip hop, and they really tried to show sure. and remind everybody, everybody that hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dancehall and hip hop have a relationship, mm -hmm. and we and they had a lot of collabs at, at the time. And they really brought out that in the old school music before yeah. they even went deep, deep in the clash. And I love that. Clash. Like, yeah. show, remind the people. And in the comment section, yeah. everybody was like, this is my childhood. Like, yeah. Yeah, I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, that's something that I liked that they did. Mm -hmm. They didn't go too, like, forward into just yeah, like the authentic like because clash song. when clash the real authentic clash in jamaica that takes place is much more aggressive yes. like each artist really are trying to make it known to him better than the, the next, next artist, artist so yeah. really like <laughs> so it's much more aggressive even the, even the audience Mm -hmm. Is you know real Pumps, die hard yeah. fans each each have them or who them are follow yeah you know, kind it's of way more so. personal and emotional and way more aggressive yeah in this life they were more it was definitely a friendly class yeah it was a friendly class but it was appropriate it, it yeah because it's not just Jamaicans were on the platform it was global worldwide it was and, trending yeah it was trending <laughs> and I feel like. It's important. This is that it was really important on that platform because dancehall needs to be marketable in yes. some way yes. in order for it to continue and grow and build in Jamaica as an industry. Mm -hmm. It has to be marketable. People around the world have to understand what we're saying. Yes, you get me. And there's nothing wrong with that because they can always come home to Jamaica to get the real authentic. 
you know, so like culture. Yeah. That's how we as Jamaicans can actually yeah. benefit from our culture. It was it was really appropriate. So generally, guys, Sound Clash would normally have a way more aggressive. They would actually not be so close because mm -hmm. they were hugging and yeah, people and bouncy. Bounty Killer and Beanie Man have a history of clashing. Yeah, like, hardcore. Hardcore. Like, them have riffs. Yeah. In Over them years, past years. Years. And for them to actually be standing beside each other, yeah. you know, hand around each other, yeah. jovial <laughs> spirit, kind of, you know, one yeah. love kind of yeah. thing, that was really special. And it represented Jamaica well to show that mm -hmm. we are able to move and mature, mature. And, and really appreciate because they were even commend, mm -hmm. commending each other's song and dancing yeah, to each other's song. Yeah, vibing to each other's song. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if anybody know the history or have seen videos of their past clash, but mm -hmm. trust me, it's a that different bouncy and energy. <laughs> completely from back then. <laughs> Bad man kill fit for no perplex Them go nails as it keep And a nation we go down Your perplex me flex You make me get vexed Representation for um, new dance hall, the new upcoming artists right. to really see and the crossover. I think it's really important for us. I know a lot of the times us as Jamaicans want to stay authentic, want to keep it as rich as possible, but we'll never lose that. But at the same time, to reach and connect with people, we have to make sure that they understand what we're saying and that they can relate. All right, so the next thing about this live that really highlighted Jamaican culture was the dancing, guys. Dancing is a huge, huge part of Jamaican dance hall culture. It's evident in the name. Yeah. The name says it's <laughs> dance right. hall. So <laughs> pretty much with the DJing, we do dance in a space. So that's how the name kind of derived. Dancing is huge. Like the dance and the music comes right. together to create the dance hall scene. Mm -hmm. So Beanie Man and Bounty, they did crack some moves just like this video here. Yes. <laughs> Um, they really, really showed like they were under the high energy. energy. The energy was high, high energy, yeah. and the dancing was significant. Mm -hmm. Like the dancing, them representing dance hall on mm -hmm. that platform and really dancing and showing the dance. You know when um, Beanie Man's daughter Deja came on, she's one of my favorite dancers yes. and she's really good. <laughs> Um, you can check her out on Instagram. She's really good. She's very dynamic with the way how she dance. But dancing um, is really huge in the dance hall space. Bogo was one of the first mm -hmm. dance hall dancers who was really passionate about bringing dance, the dancing aspect of dance hall to the forefront. Yeah. And, and based on research, it shows that he was heavily influenced um, by Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Because with with Jamaica, we kind of dance with the music, yeah. like underrated, underrated. Yeah. Like the movements is very smooth, and as you can tell, Michael Jackson kind of, <laughs> yeah. <that's> <laughs> Michael Jackson kind of have that same kind of um, groove with his yeah, dancing, flow, like, like flow, like come from his soul. soul. Yeah, so that's how he dances. Yeah, <laughs> and Bogo was very very passionate, and then mm -hmm. there's a lot of dancers that followed in Bogo. I'm sure there was there was dancers before Bogo, but Bogo was a significant that really highlighted highlighted the importance of the dancing the culture, and the routine. Yeah, and talking of authentic, being authentic to the culture, another part of the life that really stood out that brought me back. So actual dance, so it's when the police actually came to lock off the oh live, God. like <laughs> seriously, <laughs> like I died, like yeah. oh my gosh, like please don't. Don't, yeah, I was there. This. I was there shaking, like in real life. Like I'm like, I hope this is not gonna embarrass us on on this platform, like not right now. Right, cause that's the actual thing. Like Babylon always I try to stop the food, like. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, so the energy didn't even come bigger and better after police come. Yeah, like, yeah. and it's the same thing at a party. Like, you know, you that anticipation, anticipation of oh shoot, the police gonna shut down 
And then and then them deal with it and they're like, yeah, nobody not nah, stop yeah. the floor. So like. then go, they negotiate <laughs> and the police decided not to turn it off. Right. That usually make we get excited and then the real energy was mm-hmm. tapping and it did tap in into the into yeah. the clash for real. Because <laughs> then they start going harder on each other. I'm like, yes. Yeah. It was a whole vibe. So, it was, so. it was. One another highlight. Of the life of the clash was with the coffin meme. I know everybody must see that everywhere online <laughs> when the African people dancing with the coffin. coffin yeah. <laughs> when that rhythm coming. Hey, me make your get to your head. Me no business, everybody gone. Him have a cash for a morning. Put up with the but if you make him up, she can't you mad man, be the man a bad man. Bounty brought that dump in and it was like shocking. Even being a man, they look shocked like. Right, like <laughs> he's like whoa, and then that rhythm coming, and you already know so that is a hip hop rhythm. And then as the rhythm was going on, and Bounty showing him words and everything, yeah. Um, being a man to full advantage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> being a man to take full advantage of that opportunity and stop like and then. Yeah. Um, and then um. After that, they actually started to, to DJ on this Freestyle. rhythm. Freestyle. Yeah. DJ on this rhythm, which is a huge part of the dancehall culture. Again, remember six, I told six, you. Six, six, six. <laughs> and then, of course, Hold Alive ended, guys, with One Love and the both of them singing together. Mm-hmm. And it, it, just, it, it just warmed my heart. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we actually have a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like the life we just in perfectly like the unity and everybody yeah. know and and for for the legend Bob Marley like I right. just love how them never miss how a beat like everything to him, like. yeah so we come to the end of this video and I want to thank Bounty and Beanie for being true legends to Jamaica representing us really well mm-hmm. um showing the world what Thanks, our culture like. is and um, I don't know I just grow an extra respect for you guys because mm-hmm. even though you guys um have been there and done that you guys still took an opportunity to represent jamaica i want jamaica mm-hmm. to get back um get back That's in that space all, yeah um mm-hmm. globally so you guys did that and thanks for making jamaica trend even with yes. the quarantine even in this time <laughs> like and I feel like that's even why they even touch the spot even more because in this time we really need that sense of hope kind of thing. Yes. You know yes. that yo, this time soon we're gonna we're, we're all we'll be able to just to have fun up together again. We'll yeah. look up with Talawa. We'll look right. up with Talawa for real. Like we're still able to trend in quarantine. Yes. Anyways guys, thanks for watching to the end of this video. If you reach this and if you reach to the end of the video, that means you like this video and why not share it with somebody else? Right? Share this video. <laughs> Help to and of course, comment down below on what was your favorite part of the live. Always, we always bring in informative, quality, entertaining content here at Cherries and Ventures. Yes. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Love you.